welcome to the world of biology today our topic is excretion the waste disposal system so in this topic we are going to discuss about how the wastes produced in the bodies of animals and plants are disposed so what kind of waste is produced and how the waste is produced we know that if you see a factory in any of the factory there will be some kind of activities there is some kind of production so in the production there you find some waste materials are produced waste is generated in a factory so why the waste is generated because some products are produced in a factory along with the products some waste is generated the waste may be gaseous waste some gases or liquid waste some kind of waste liquid or solids if you see the human body or any animal or plant body a living organism so living organisms body so also can be compared with factories so we have so many functional unit all living things are made up of small functional units called as cells so we can consider that each cell is a small factory we have millions of factories with which our body is made even in our bodies there are so many things are produced energy is produced from the food and the food which we are taking the food is broken down to simple molecules in digestive system and the simple molecules are supplied to the cells the cells they are converting these molecules into some other forms which are useful for the activities of the cell so we call these as these activities which are going inside the cell inside a living cell we call them as metabolic activities metabolic activities simply we can call it as metabolism metabolism so there is metabolism in each and every living cell the metabolism is of two types anabolism and catabolism what is anabolism if any big molecules are formed from the small molecules by synthesis by joining say for example if beads are joined to form a garland if flowers are joined to form a garland in such a way simple simple molecules are joined together to form big molecules chains you call it as anabolism if any big molecule is synthesized or prepared you call it as anabolism what is catabolism if any big molecule is broken down to simple parts it is catabolism both types of activities takes place inside a cell anabolism takes place catabolism takes place these two together called as metabolism so in this metabolic activities what is produced new products are produced along with the new products wastes are produced waste is produced inside the cells so if this waste is accumulated in large quantity it is harmful to the cell it is dangerous to the cell it is dangerous to our body so there is a need for export excretion removal throw out of this waste from the bodies so that is what about the system that helps in the excretion the disposal of waste from the cells and from the body we are going to discuss about it in this chapter so we are talking about the waste that is produced in the living forms what kind of wastes are produced so generally the wastes include like water water is a waste that it has to be uh, sent out of our body we cannot keep water is not a toxic material but even though our cells should have only required amount of water not excess if excess amount of water is present inside the cells it will disturb the process of osmosis and diffusion so which may uh, interfere with the transport of materials so extra water should be removed out of the body and more importantly nitrogen materials nitrogenous substances that are produced in the bodies are very toxic poisonous especially ammonia urea uric acid creatinine these kind of nitrogenous compounds are produced in our bodies during the process of utilization of food breakdown of proteins so these materials are formed and gases like carbon dioxide is released 
in case of animals if you see in case of plants oxygen is a waste product in case of plant of course a part of the oxygen used by the plant itself for respiration and rest of the oxygen is sent out into the atmosphere but it is a waste for plant of course it is a useful product for animals so nitrogenous materials water salts mineral salts different kind of mineral salts like calcium magnesium zinc whatever that salts that are taken into the body is the excess amount of salts are sent out of the body so these are the different kind of waste materials produced in the bodies of living forms in case of plants the waste materials are converted into some other form and stored in some of their body parts in case of animals they possess certain systems to excrete these materials out of their bodies nitrogenous waste materials or gases you see in process of respiration co2 is released into the atmosphere the carbon dioxide that is produced as a waste in the cells is sent out in the process of respiration in the same way in photosynthesis we see plants excrete oxygen through the stomata pores present on the leaves so in such way they excrete the oxygen we excrete carbon dioxide so these kind of waste materials are to be sent out of the body and this process is called as excretion so the word excretion is coined from a latin word which means ex means out and crinary this means shift so shift of these waste materials like nitrogen waste excess water or carbon dioxide and other salts out of the body is called as excretion so in this topic we are going to discuss about the process of excretion how it takes place in plants and animals now we are going to discuss about the process of excretion in human beings